Hello, I want to give you a, a quick guide as to how to deal with comments on your WordPress website. <clears throat> so first of all we'll just add a comment, this is the standard um, WordPress theme as it comes straight out of the box, it's 2011 theme, so excuse, <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> pardon me, right this is just straight as it comes out of the box. So in the leave a reply part here, what we're going to do is type whatever we want in, type his name, I'll actually call Fred but never mind, type in a, a website address if you want to, and our comment. Right, now, when we click post the comment here, what we will see is your comment is awaiting moderation. Now, WordPress straight out of the box, um, th this is a completely, if you, I've just installed this, this um, WordPress software now, the one we're using, I've just installed it. And this is, a, you know, the, um, the, the completely standard setup. So, what it does straight out of the box, the first comment somebody makes needs to be moderated. You've got to approve the first comment that, peeps, that anybody makes. So if Fred made a comment and then Bessie made one and you know Harry and Charlie, they'd all have to, the first comment they made would all have to be accepted by you. And then after that one, once you've accepted the first comment they've made, WordPress thinks that they're fairly okay, so it just lets them add a comment whenever they want without having to wait for it to be moderated so let's moderate that comment and I accept it and um, we'll uh, we'll see what happens then right so where we're going now we're going to comments and we've got a comment a new comment from Fred so how you deal with comments if you've got a lot of comments the best way to do it is where it says comments over here there's a little um, link that says pending. Now there's two links in, there's two comments in there now, but one's already approved and the other one isn't approved. So the best way to do it is click that pending link and that'll only show you the ones that need to be accepted or approved. Right, so when we hover over the comment, we get this little pop up of links we can click. So we can either quick edit it or we can edit it or we can delete it or label it as spam if we want to or we could even just click the approve um, link if we like the comment now if you look here this that, that uh, fred.com there if we didn't like that we can remove it so what we do we click edit or quick edit we'll, we'll do um we'll do a quick edit right now here is the URL that they put in and suppose you thought oh that looks a bit like a spam URL I want to get rid of it we'll just highlight it and delete it of course if you think it's Fred's okay then you could leave it there <laughs> you don't want to delete every URL you see right and if you wanted to you can add some more to it or whatever excuse me <coughs> you could add more to it or whatever you want and then click update comment generally speaking you won't want to change much in the comments unless um, you know you think there's spam or whatever right so once you're happy with the comment just click approve or oh, this bit here is the um, the IP address they were using when they um, but when they made the comment which is handy to know you it's, it's a bit of a technical detail but it might come in handy if you think somebody's you know giving you a lot of spammy type stuff right so all we need to do now is click the approve link right now the good thing is if we go back to this page here see it's waiting for moderation I'll refresh the page and it, it's accepted now but when we leave it leave another comment so what can Fred say this time Right, 
right so now the last time we had to wait for it to be cut to be moderated excuse me <coughs> oh, i do beg your pardon the last time we had to make wait for it to be moderated but because we've had a comment accepted now when we click post comment that comment is automatically um accepted so if we go back to our dashboard now we click comments we've got all of them are approved so it says unapprove because they've been approved so if you wanted to you can unapprove them and take them away um but it's, it was automatically approved because fred has already had um a comment that he's made before and we accepted that first comment which is a really good way to um it's quite a, a good compromise because you, you don't want your website full of spam but you don't want to be if you get a lot of comments you don't want to actually have to um, accept every comment so what do I want to show you next right ah if you do want to to have complete control over um, all of the if you, if you want to actually accept or deny every single comment what you need to do over here where it says oh we've gone to settings discussion so in the in the dashboard here we've gone to settings discussion and thus um this bit here that says before a comment appears and if you click this box it says an administrator must always approve the comment so if you click that box every time anybody makes a comment they'll you will always have to approve that comment yourself you know you as the site owner will have to go in and and approve the comment which if you don't get too many comments that's that's not a bad way to do it because you always know before the comment appears on the page you know what the comment is um right what what else you can do to to stop comment spam and to just make it a bit easier to deal with comments. If you're getting a lot of comments, if you're only getting a few comments, it doesn't really matter. But if you're getting a lot of comments, there's um, some good solution. Let's have a look. Plugins. What we're after. If, if you if you're on WordPress.com, you've already got this Akismet um, anti-spam uh, software. It's already enabled in WordPress.com. If you're using WordPress.org, you've got to set it up yourself. But it's easy. the plugin is actually built into WordPress.org. It, it, it comes with it. Um, so unless you've deleted it, it'll be there when you when you install WordPress. But what you need is an API key. So it says over here, sign up for an Akismet API key. And all you do, you just sign up for the key. You go over here, um, sign up for the key. Get a free key if you've, if you've just got a small personal website. There's these three options here. It says no dollars to 120 a year for a small personal website. So you just sign up, excuse me, <coughs> sign up and get a, a free. We'll just put your name and your email address in and it will email you. <laughs> it will email you um, a, a, a key. If you watch the little smiley face, that's at no dollars a year. And as you pay more money, it gets a bigger smile. <laughs> anyway. Um, right, where are we going? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, here we go. There's another one that there's. I don't know if you know what capture is, but it, it captures their. Um, they, they've got to actually type something into a box. It's a question. It'll say four plus five equals, and you've got to type in the answer into the box before it will let you fill in the form um, and there's there's loads of capture software capture plugins available um, this one is a looks like quite a good one it's by best web soft um, but there's loads of plugins available it, you, you install that through WordPress so if that wasn't there already we would just um, add new and we could search for it and then when you when you find one that you like 
you just click uh, well that one's already installed so I can't install it but when you find one that you like excuse me <coughs> you just click the um, the install button the install link there um, but that that's quite a good way as well to, to to keep spam away from your website well I think that's all I need to tell you I do believe yep if you want to know more this this video is made for a, a tutorial I made on this website here it's called using hyphen wordpress.org so it's using wordpress.org with a, a dash or a hyphen between using and WordPress. I do hope you find the videos useful and I do hope you enjoy using WordPress. Uh, I hope to see you again later. Bye.